Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see capabilities of App Studio for creating data type and creating a REST integration so we can eliminate use of Dev Studio. There are very smart people, those who are not subscribing and watching my content, please do subscribe this channel. Let's get started into the topic. So here you can see there are three data types that are already present in the system. So if you want to create a new data type, you will be clicking here and you will be doing a data type and create all the respective uh, configuration you want. So as Pega is suggesting to use App Studio and uh, utilize the capabilities of that, let's see how we can create data type from App Studio. This is data type. You click on it. Here you can see there are already existing three data objects. So you want to create one. You can see on the right hand side new. Here you have to give some uh, name to this data object. Already we have custom information, account information. So address information. Now we want to create something new. Let's see like health information. So if you want to create this uh, under any layer or you want to use any like account information or address information or custom information you can give this or if you want to use a uh, ss for implementation of data class you can give this now i'm giving this and different source data now i want to create it that's why uh, i'm giving as now okay next here what is the system like uh, whether it's new system if you want to create you can give create new and you can give some uh, records over here i'm giving like get health info and you can change this icon as well if you want to change and this is connection it was asking uh, like endpoint url or open api these things so before jumping to that i am just using pega okay and i'm clicking submit So you can see health information data object is created and uh, PY GUID is the global key and this is records where you can add view data pages. So as we know that every data type would be having three data pages like uh, page, list and sayable data page, three data pages. This is settings icon. So if you want to give some description over this and this is general basic configuration and this is default data sources. So if you want to define uh, some other data page source for your respective data page, you can uh, define this. Go back to data model. Now I want to add a field, for example. I want to add a field like uh, H. Submit and add another. H was added successfully. Wait. Right. So I have given these three. You can see like uh, these three properties are created here. Go to records. You can see uh, you can add a record as well from here. Like 25, 55, and 165 centimeters. So that's our representation and here if you see it is views this data page settings so click on save okay go back here if you see you can see this health information over also now i want to open this data page here so for this data page the source is pega database source but uh, we need to uh, implement some integration such that for a list uh, of data page you want to pull the records using a connect rest from some other system then normally we have to go to the data page and there we have to edit the source okay so just i'm switching back to the studio and making sure that uh, you guys believe that we have created see and you can see records as well here that we have added in app studio very nice 
usage if you go this is list if you see for this list the source is the report definition normally if you want to use a connector and use this connector then you would be ending up creating many things like a class or some integration or something like that from dev studio but in app studio it is very quick for us i'm going back to app studio and here you can see this is list data page and here you can see three icons over here dots click on this and you can see configure source click configure source and you can see like uh, whether you want to use existing uh, integration or if you want to use a new integration now i'm going to guess get customer sorry get health info for example if you want to change you can change the icon so this endpoint url uh, i'm just giving like localhost comment zero and this is parameters so what are the parameters you are expecting and this is headers so this based upon the endpoint url what they are asking now if you just click initialize call it would be asking some live response or sample json so for our example i'm giving some sample json so i click on this add sample response this is a sample json response i have given like is don't and click submit so it is validated so it is asking like whether it's a string object next and you can see these uh, environmental settings like these uh, uh, settings uh, it was there so if you want to use the existing one you can use the existing one whatever you want so i'm going to just create new settings and this is the thing and for staging and production if you want uh, some other url you can give this url as well and this is authentication profiles and all that you can screen, uh, create and the authentication scheme also like we have different authentication schemes like basic ntlm and over 2.0 you can define all these over here and click submit you can see here the source is tends to rest but uh, remaining uh, stays still with the uh, pega database so just we have done few clicks and we have some defined few parameters now if you can go to data type you can see here like there is an integration over here so in the like this you can create a data type and uh, connect rest integration using this and uh, if you want to check uh, go back to dev studio okay and again i'm going to this health information and you can see this uh, you can see that there is a rest integration type and this uh, particular class we did not create this class it automatically created from here like org team cosmos int uh, int and here this health information and uh, you can see integration connectors see connectors is created and this data transfer everything is created and this method is a method type and uh, the catch over here is if you open this connectors tool you can see this connector is auto generated if modified the rule can be managed through app studio means when you create a connectors through app studio then only you can see this message if you create normally in dev studio like our regular development you can't see this so suppose you are preparing for some cls exam or something else it would be better if you use uh, this type of configuration for connectors instead of creating uh, all the artifacts from dev studio use app studio as much as you can and you might get a doubt like uh, we did not define any class like uh, this is uh, org theme cosmos int and data type that we have created is like org theme cosmos data how did uh, app studio knows uh, particularly like under this class we have to create uh, this so it's simple you have application definition 
this application definition if you go to cases and data and scroll down i have already explained about these associated classes so here we have defined integration class and data class and ui class that's why whatever sections you create from app studio it would be lying under oz theme cosmos ui pages hyphen the respective class so as yes, integration is already defined here so it has taken this as the parent class from this it has created this health information child class and data is already defined as a theme cosmos data that's why data class is created a, a data hyphen so in this way you can uh, use app studio this is really very important uh, interview question as well why because now scenario based interview questions are the trend and if they ask this uh, particular question like how do you create a from app studio they, and how do you create a integrations also this is very useful you also please try configuring different uh, types of start using app studio in your personal session and let me know your experience thanks for watching this video please click on bell icon so you can't uh, miss any one of the video from this channel please share comment and like and give your suggestions in the comments of the video